Okay, so this is my kind of quick everyday face. Um, okay, so where to start? So your face should already be clean and moisturized. So I like the satin facial scrub or, sorry, my dog's banging around back here. Or I make my own scrub and I use this a couple days of the week on my face in the shower. Um, just helps to get all those dead skin cells off and kind of with the glow and all that good stuff. I make my own face wash, um, or I know people who actually use the Young Living hand soap as face wash because there is a lavender and there's a whole bunch of different hand soap options. Plus, if I can use things in more than one way, one way I am all about like multi-purpose. So I do like making my own. I add some charcoal to it um, and some oils and soap and different things like that. Um, and then some of my, now Young Living has like, crazy awesome lines of skincare products the art line the bloom trio the orange blossom ones um but my young living bill is already quite large so i like to make things at home or multi multitask with things um but their skincare line is amazing um now face clean Moisture, your makeup sticks best when your face is moisturized. Um, so I do like the mattifying primer from Savvy Minerals. Um, also, I will use like the Sensation Hand and Body Lotion. I do like the lotion a lot. And again, I use it everywhere on my hands, my body, my face. Um, if I need some extra love on certain spots, like if your T-zone gets dry or like under my eyes, you know, bags and things like that, I do like the rose ointment. Um, but because it is small and, um, more, <laughs> more expensive, I don't use it all over my whole face because I don't really need it either. I have pretty great skin because I take care of it. Um, and I started using the Prenolone Plus sometimes too. Um, just again, dual purpose. I can support my home hormones and support my skin at the same time. So this is my like super quick face and I am by no means a makeup professional. Um, so I love the liquid foundation in tan is the color I use, which I should get more than one color because in the, in the winter, I can definitely tell it is not the exact right color. So I just squeeze a little bit on here and I dab. And again, I am not a professional. I really, was not into makeup until about, I don't know what, two years ago last, no, it had to be two years ago. Maybe it was last year when Young Living released their liquid foundations. I was very excited because I don't, the powder just seems so complicated to me, which it's not, but I just do not really know that much about makeup. So, and yes, I am outside on my porch and if I knew how to speed this up, I would. But I just kind of do circular-ish circular, circular motions, go against the hair when I need to. And this pretty much, my skincare routine is very, my makeup routine is very basic because I do not have the ambition or the patience <laughs> to spend a lot of time on makeup. Plus, I'm pretty much the type of person who will choose sleep over everything else. So if I can sleep an extra 10 minutes rather than get up and apply makeup, I'm 99% of the time gonna do that. Um, this is also, this is a foundation brush from Young Living. I do like this a lot. Um, when people rave about their brushes, I never really understood it before. And then I got some and now I get it. They are pretty amazing because I have had some different brushes, you know, most of the cheap ones. And I can say that Young Living is, it lives up to the hype. And I do not, <laughs> all my dirty secrets coming out. I do not take care of my brushes the way that I should. So for them to have lasted as long as they have is impressive. Okay. So see, this is a good time to do my makeup because I have some, have some, 
have had some extra stress lately, so I have some weird things coming out on my skin. So this is the concealer from Savvy. It is light too. And again, I am not a professional. So I just kind of dab where needed. I do not do any contouring really because, well, I don't want to. I got pollen on my face. So I did hear, this is <clears throat> a tip from a makeup person I found on YouTube, is you put your concealer over your foundation because otherwise your foundation will just, I guess, wipe it away. And I just kind of blend it in aggressively. Now, one of these days I should probably learn how to do my brows because this brow does not come in as thick as this one. But that is somewhere in the future. So the good thing about this makeup too is that you can, you can build it up. So if for whatever reason it does not cover the first time as much as you like, you can always put on more and build it up to where you need it to go. Okay, so there we are, and then I do mascara. Now this is the old formula um, because this is just what I have right now. I have not gotten. They uh, now offer volumizing or lengthening, which let's see. I think I got the volumizing last time, and I do. I do not care for the brush on the volumizing. I think it's too big. But I do like the new formula a lot better than the old formula. But I like this brush better. But I have not tried the lengthening mascara. So that is kind of on my, my wish list for now. Because I don't also wear enough makeup to make it worth it. To have a lot of stuff at the moment. Although I have a lot more than I actually use. <laughs> I have the eyeshadows. One of the eyeshadow palettes that I never really use. Ooh, this is hard. Okay. I feel like I stabbed myself in the eyeball a couple of times. But I also, some people, I don't know, have mixed feelings about putting it on the lower lashes. I don't because, well, I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> So that is pretty much it. If I am feeling fancy, I have the lip gloss in headliner. Um, and then I have the lipstick in daydream, which I don't believe daydream is available anymore. Um, if I'm feeling fancy, I will put this on, but very rarely do I wear this. First off, because I just got it not that long ago. Huh? See, I don't even know how to do this. YouTubers make this look so easy. So that is pretty much my daily face, minus the lip gloss, but um, it felt like a good day for it. Um, and then getting one of these cleaning pads, I put this off for the longest time because I thought it was so useless. And then I um, have had this, I this is the bronzer br brush. I've had this for over a year and earlier this year I'm like looking in the middle of it and it was the grossest thing I've ever seen so I'm like oh, okay yeah so when I clean my brushes I just use my hand soap and water and I just scrub my brushes and it has been awesome so it is worth it I just dropped it on the ground but this is pretty much my my daily face um again I do have I did get the powder foundation because I do want to try that out and then I do have some eyeshadows and I have the um, eyeliner, but my eyes are just not conducive to eyeliner. Um, it actually makes them smaller because I don't know how to do it correctly. So I don't usually wear it. I do like this palette though, if I am going to wear any eyeshadow. This is the Natural Quartz Eyeshadow Palette. Um, so I do like it. I just don't use it that often because I don't like to put that much effort into it. 
Plus, again, I have like hooded eyes, so you can't see the eyeshadow very much either. So it, to me, it's not worth my time. Um, but I do like having them because it's fun sometimes. And I can put this, you know, on my niece and I don't have to feel guilty for putting like chemicals and things on her skin that I know are going to harm her. Um, I can, I, I feel safe using this um, and teaching her and sharing the, the fun of makeup with her without endangering her skin and her hormones. So that was my, my quick phase. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any tips for me, I would love to hear them. Um, or any like YouTubers and accounts I should follow that have makeup tricks, that would be great. But this is pretty much my everyday face. Throw on some earrings, do a little bit of something with my hair and go. So have a great day, you guys.